When it comes to legalizing more gambling options, the talk in North Carolina lately has been mostly about building new casinos. But could the casino come to you on your phone? Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland has this new push, new at five. It's already a major year in North Carolina when it comes to gambling. Lawmakers have approved mobile sports betting, and this week the State Lottery Commission voted to start offering online instant games, which can have the look of slot machines. That vote happened as state lawmakers discussed legalizing four more casinos and allowing video lottery terminals statewide. It is, I think, uh, the only form of gaming where you're going to see a significant uh, creation of new jobs to the state. Companies in the sports betting industry want lawmakers to consider going even further, legalizing online casinos known as iGaming. Those companies have apps offering casino style games on your phone. Scott Ward is vice president of the Sports Betting Alliance. Can we really handle doing all of this at once? I think the state can. Uh, you know, many times uh, when a state decides to expand gaming, uh, all the various interests come in, as you're seeing now in the state of North Carolina. While Republican Senate leader Phil Berger said iGaming will be part of the conversation, he questioned how much is too much. I think we've been thinking about this uh, in terms of uh, where uh, in North Carolina potential casinos would be located. Uh, is the uh, the idea of uh, some sort of market saturation. iGaming allows uh, for customers to, to engage with those casinos from all over the state. And so you're picking up customers you wouldn't normally get who aren't going to drive to your facility. Republican House Speaker Tim Moore raised concerns about potential abuse with iGaming. Something done on an app on a phone like that, I think there's a lot of opportunity for some real problems there. Michael Hyland, 10 on your side.